getting down to the last few here. Oh, I'll break out another chocolate one. Bunwari chokomonaka. Hitokuchi size de funwari something. Fua fua air in choco. Saksaku monaka. So, this is what it looks like. Crazy thing. Eating the chocolate bubbles. And it tells you down here there's an airy center and a crispy outside. Um, I'm not sure what this guy is doing on the back here. He, of course, is individually wrapped. That's nice. Look at all those in there. Cute little red packaging on the inside. Got that weird guy on it with his weird kissy face on it. Is that supposed to be like this package? I don't know. Ooh, man. Ooh, ah. This reminds me of the um, ice cream bars that they have in Japan that have like this crispy wafer on the outside and then vanilla and then like a chocolate bar on the inside. It's really good, but you really should share it with somebody because it is gigantic. If they weren't individually wrapped, I would be eating the whole bag. Oh man. All right, here's one of the special things that they added this time. It's a sports thing, bonus item thing, sports subu. Sports drink flavored chewing candy. Okay, I uh, think it has something to do with sports um, candy and drinks. Guess from the English that I read. It looks like a pill. It looks like those yogurt flavored things that were in the last box. Okay, we're, I, I assume it will take taste like Bokari Sweat. Ooh, a shower. Oh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, mm hmm. Oh. <laughs> I like a weird chalky. Bitter. It is still bitter. Oh. Apparently, offers the same nutri nutrients as Bokari Sweat with citric acid, potassium, and sodium. Uh, will keep you going in a convenient candy. <laughs> Not my favorite flavor. I guess I never was a fan of Pocari Sweat. Um, I preferred Karupis. <laughs> Alright, we'll do this one. Ramune! I got the Muscat flavor. It's distributed by San Francisco. It is all in English. <laughs> okay. Open. So I took this thing off. Oh, you need to keep this. Keep this thing. My sweatshirt says, I wasn't made for winter. I want my flip flops in case you're wondering. All right, so you use this with this. And this is the marble here. You kind of push it down with your thumb. Yeah, I'm literally pushing like as hard as I can. Uh, help! Help! I can't do this. Oh, maybe I take it out. Oh, I, I take it out of the thing, and then I, and I do like this. Ready? And, aha! You smash it with a hammer. Okay, not really. You just smash it down with your hand. Look, I have an indentation in my hand. Beep. All right. So now we have the marble. Very bland. It even has the instructions in English there. Yay, Melanie! Anyways, um, it's um, e. It's okay. It's green though, so I like green. Yay, green! <laughs> so that was that. <laughs> it's really disappointing. Um, yeah, yeah, whatever. Maybe I'll have my husband drink it. <laughs> I like the bottle though, because it's super fun with that marble in there. I always want to take the marble out afterwards, so I usually usually do. Does anybody else do that? Is it just me? I'm just weird? Okay. 